Cree LOX and Cree recombinases in MGI. Cree LOX is a system within genomics that allows tissue specific genome remodeling. This strategy employs two different mutagenized mice. First, a mouse with a targeted or floxed allele, and then second, a mouse carrying a Cree recombinase enzyme, which is expressed under the control of a transgenic promoter and determines where the genome remodeling, which tissues it will occur in. These two mice are bred together to generate a line that carries both, and then you have tissue-specific deletion or other remodeling of the floxed allele in tissues where the Cree recombinase is expressed. Targeted conditional and conditional-ready alleles can be found on gene detail pages in MGI in the alleles and phenotypes row, where we zoom in and you can see that for BRCA1, there are 88 different alleles that have been described. And if you click on that, you'll go to a summary of the, of the various BRCA1 alleles, where you can use category to identify the allele attributes. This column can also be sorted, and you'll notice that there are targeted null knockout alleles described, as well as targeted conditional ready with no functional, no functional change, as the insertion of the LOXP sites themselves, the recombinase recognition sites, is not expected to cause a functional change, these are the ones that you'll want. Clicking on the allele symbol will bring you to a targeted allele detail page, which contains a bunch of information, including the reference that originally described uh, the mutation, the mutation details, including which exon or exons were floxed, various other targeting characteristics, and then the allelic composition, where you can see here that the homozygote HM1, where it's just the insertion of the recombinase, re uh, recombinase recognition sites, has a normal phenotype as expected, when you introduce Cree recombinase transgenes at the same time, you get a number of different phenotypes. This can be seen in CN2 and CN3. Those Cree recombinase transgenes can be uh, located either by driver or by tissue within MGI using the recombinase MIDI homepage from the, uh, from the main homepage. This will bring you to a recombinase Cree activity detail section which can also be navigated using the tabs along the top of the page. You can access this data um, at the top using recombinase uh, activity within tissues. Here, just type bone uh, to bring up bone marrow and select that from the drop-down list. Click go to retrieve a table of Cree recombinases with activity that's been examined in the bone marrow. In the first column, you see the drivers uh, which is the different uh, recombinase promoters um, determining the expression characteristics of the transgene. And then you've got the recombinase activities either detected or not detected in the next couple of columns. In this case, because we've used bone marrow, the uh, phenotypic system, hemolymphoid system, is bolded and highlighted as a way to indicate that bone marrow is a subset of the hemolymphoid system. To the far side of the table, you've got Find Mice IMSR, which indicates if any of these mice have been deposited for commercial or public distribution, as well as any references that have used this strain. If you click on the allele symbol, you'll return to a transgene allele detail page, which describes the original generation of the allele along with a J number reference, a mutation description such as the allele type and any other characteristics, and then has this recombinase activity table right in the center. The recombinase activity table describes where recombinase activity has been assayed, so whether it's detected or not detected. And you can see here, if you open up, expand the details for mutation uh, of the mutation, uh, along with the J number. And you can expand these uh, structured terms by clicking on the triangles to reveal more detailed levels. Here, you've got a check mark indicating that activity was detected, where you see the minuses. People have specifically examined for recombinase activity and found it to be negative. And if you click on that check mark, you'll go to a systems level recombinase activity detail. And that includes things, um, like I said, system, system specific. So this is the hemolymphoid system. And that includes a lot of uh, very precise details, including the, the specific structures, the age of the specimen, the level. Um, pattern, if there's a pattern to be described, and includes images where, they, where they've been deposited with us. So in summary, MGI allows users to discover conditionally targeted alleles and appropriate recombinases. Transgene recombinase alleles are characterized across the whole mouse with data presented from multiple sources where available. 
If you have any questions, please contact mgihelp at jax.org. We'd love to hear from you.